Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, now it is time for Mommy Mondays. So children express how they feel through emotions which can often look something like a meltdown, also known as a temper tantrum. Although tantrums are a normal part of child development, the way young children show that they are upset and or frustrated, it can be a really hard thing for parents to deal with, especially if the child can't express themselves through words yet. So clinical psychologist Janine Bukas joins us to discuss what temper tantrums tantrums are caused by and how to best deal with them. Welcome back, Janine. Lovely to see you. Thanks, Jenny. Wonderful to be back. I had quite a tasting weekend. So I've got nine godchildren. I'm basically like Elton John. And this weekend I took my three-year-old to the aquarium, mm. which I just wasn't emotionally prepared for because, first of all, her parents handed me this little harness and, and, oh. and a leash and they said, trust me, you are going to need this. <laughs> And then what I wasn't emotionally prepared for was the t temper tantrums. Right. Just because it makes me feel as if I failed at something. Mm, what are mm, temper tantrums? Mm. Why do children have them? Look, the fact that you said how awful you feel is really important. Yeah. When children have temper tantrums, it elicits awful reactions in us as parents. We feel panicky. We feel yeah. uh, 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 stressed. Disempowered. <laughs> Angry, resentful, yeah. you know, uh, the child's really let us down and, and we look really <laughs> foolish. Imagine saying to the three-year-old, you've let me down. <laughs> At one point I was thinking, what do I say to this child to make her stop screaming? And yeah. I was thinking, do you want me to put you in the shark tank? <laughs> At one point I was like, thank goodness I didn't end up saying that to her, but I well, was those considering are the, it. Those are the thoughts that go through our, our mind at that yeah. point. And I think it's so important to, to then remember that even though we're having those feelings, that we're the adults yeah. and our toddler is, is trying us, but we have to be there to comfort them and help yeah. them through this. Um, they are not doing it on purpose. They don't really hate us, even though they say <laughs> so. Um, and and we, are, we just cannot remove ourselves emotionally by yeah. ignoring um, or by punishing. Yeah. Um, oh, that's easier said than done, though. So, I mean, what tools can parents have or can you teach parents yeah. to deal with the temper tantrum? Because I know some parents are very tempted and I can kind of, I mean, I'm not a parent, but I can understand sometimes our parents just give a little tap yeah, on the bum yeah, just yeah. to <laughs> calm them, Huge but that temptation. doesn't work. Huge temptation. It certainly yeah. doesn't. It never works. And also it has a huge ramifications for the future. So yeah. it, you're not teaching your child any skill yeah. by having a temper tantrum yourself. Okay, what, ha what do parents do when a child becomes hysterical in a temper tantrum, when um, they're having a meltdown? Your first thing is to breathe deeply yeah. and to try and calm yourself down. Yeah. And then... Look for the vodka. <laughs> Don't do that. That's for later, <laughs> when, when they're in bed. Yeah. Um, I would say you, you need to look at safety because yes. little ones that are having a meltdown can hurt themselves and can hurt others. So you, you look at safety and, and protect them from themselves. Yeah. Um, hold them. They don't want it. You don't want your, your, your toddler running into the road. Make sure they're safe. Yeah. But then we have to kind of reach down to, to your child's level and start with empathic listening. It's not the time to give your child a lecture and try to make him <laughs> be logical. Oh. You know, he's absolutely overwhelmed. He is, um, he, he's overwhelmed by, by, by the frustration he feels, by, horm by, by uh, cortisol, uh, hormones, so the stress hormones have already been released into his okay. little brain. So children aren't being brats, they're not being naughty when they're having a no. temper tantrum. No. Often we as parents have failed to miss, to, to, to pick up the early warning signs yeah. that they're taking strain. And now in the only way that he knows how to tell us how he's feeling, he has to show it through his behaviour. Yeah. And um, we, we are needing to validate his emotions even as we don't like his behavior. Yeah. So we can't ignore, we, our baby really needs us then. Um, do they need a hug or to be felt safe, especially when you just really do want to throw them in the shark yeah, tank? Yeah. You do, you've Look, got to feed it with love as opposed to aggression. Often they're heading out at that point and they're shrieking at the top of their voices. I know, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, it is unbelievably <laughs> embarrassing. So you might need to, you, you would, you would sure. lean down and, and, and not be talking from on high. Be at a, chi level. a child level, at your toddler level, and listen to what 
is saying. Yeah. So, so that would be the empathic listening. What is he trying to say? You're really hungry. You really want that, sweetie. And I, I get it. You missed breakfast. Uh, things have been going crazy. You're yeah. tired. You're hungry. I get it. It must be awful to be in your little body at this mm. particular point. Yeah. It's that, that listening to what he's saying. Yeah. and then repeating to him. I feel so sorry for parents sometimes. Like I remember one time I was on an aeroplane flying to Mauritius or something and there were these two young parents with three children, all what looked like under the age of three years old. And these two little toddlers were, they were having a meltdown. They were having such a moment and the mother was sitting with her newborn baby and I just looked at them and I just held up my hands for her to hand. She looked at me, she handed me the newborn baby so she could deal with the other two and I just thought, shame, you feel so sorry for parents yeah. especially. Yeah. But now, is it and only toddlers that have temper tantrums? No. Like, I, I sometimes think we, I have them. We, we <laughs> all, look, you're, you're mostly it's under the age of four because the prefrontal cortex okay. has not been properly developed. It's an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex so their children do babies uh, toddlers dysregulate very okay. easily and they have no ability to logically think a thing through they okay. need us as adults to help them think things through Figure when they're ready yeah and yeah. To, to understand what's going on so mostly it's under the age of four but often if those needs haven't been met and those emotions haven't been validated as a little person yeah when we're older we will have temper tantrums and Sorry, Mum. <laughs> you know, so, so, and and the and it's basically the same response. Yes. If your husband mm -hmm. can listen to you empathically, <laughs> understand what your protest is all about, yeah. it calms you, regulates you, and you become a a, a normal Gives civilized you chocolate. It'll all person <laughs> all over again. So this empathic listening and then repeating what the child or what the adult is saying, mm -hmm. the mirroring of the emotion yeah. uh, is great and it, it calms everything down. It doesn't mean you give, you give in. Yeah. You can stand firm and you can say no, yeah. but that doesn't mean to say you, can with, you withdraw your love, yeah. your comfort and your support. Well, that's really good advice for adults as well as children. By getting upset, you're losing. So just listen and be empathetic. Thank you so much for being here to teach us kind parenting. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.